Workforce shortages have caused big challenges for Nebraska schools, but several bills are looking to possibly provide some extra cash and motivate teachers to stay in the classroom. NTV's Alex Whitney brings us the details. It's an unfortunate reality that many Nebraska schools are facing. Teachers are in short supply, and many of the ones that are already teaching are thinking of leaving. Lawmakers want to make sure those educators stay here in the state, and they're considering a proposal that would offer them premium payments to help entice them to stay. Anyone in education knows about the dire lack of teachers, and unfortunately, if something doesn't change, the numbers could get worse. According to NSEA, more than 1,000 teachers have left the state's two largest school districts since the pandemic began, and an additional 1,000 more Nebraska teachers are planning to leave their jobs at the end of 2021. 2022, I'm sorry. With a potential exodus of teachers on the way, lawmakers like Blood are looking for any way they can to keep educators in the classroom. And she hopes that sending out a chunk of the billion dollars Nebraska has in ARPA funding might do the trick. Her bill, LB 696, would offer not just teachers, but all non-administrative public school employees $1,000 in a premium payment. And it isn't the only one offering to pay to encourage teachers to stay. Another bill, LB 1217, introduced by Senator Lynn Walls, is nearly identical to Blood's, also offering school employees $1,000 premium payments. But LB 1217 would also send those payments to eligible private or parochial school employees. Teachers have been very vocal about what they need to feel like they can succeed. And one of those is to be compensated for the extra work that they've had to take on. It's time that we listen and continue to support these pillars of our society. If there are no teachers and no support staff, our schools <coughs> can't operate. The third bill that could offer premium payments is focused on the schools with the greatest needs. LB 1220, introduced by Senator Adam Morfeld, would provide teachers working in underserved areas $10,000 to incentivize them to stay. There was some concern raised by Senator Steve Erdman about the vague language of underserved areas, but Moorfeld said he wrote it that way intentionally to give the Department of Education greater leeway in dispersing the funds to where they're needed most. Um, I think that poverty could be one um, indicator of high need. I think also rural communities that have a hard time retaining and attracting certain folks in certain fields, um, usually STEM, um, but not always just STEM, um, can be another determination and, and factor as well. Now, these bills, just having their first hearing today, they still haven't made it to the floor for a debate, but stay tuned. We'll be continuing to follow these bills and all of the other legislation making its way through the unicameral to let you know how it might affect you at home. Reporting here from Lincoln, I'm Alex Whitney.